हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू दीक्षा कर्नाटका यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर निर्मल सर नाउ टुडे आप कम विथ अभ्यास के सी ई टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दट इज कॉन्कर के सी ई टी विथ फ्री एट मॉक टेस्ट नाउ स्टिल इफ यू नॉट रजिस्टर फॉर दिस मॉक टेस्ट द लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स क्लिक ऑन द लिंक एंड गेट रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ विथ योर ई मेल आई डी एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग द पेपर्स ऑफ ऑल द मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज नाउ आई एम गोन स्टार्ट विथ मॉक टेस्ट टू solutions of chemistry from part 1 that is question number 1 to 30 okay question paper pdf is available on our whatsapp channel also in the end i'll be telling the details about that now coming back to the first question is like a phosphorus oxide has 43.6% of phosphorus at atomic mass is 31 then the empirical formula is now you know how to find out empirical formula now they have given phosphorus and it is phosphorus oxide okay in phosphorus oxide we know it will be only phosphorus and oxygen one will be 43.6 percentage so minus of 43.6 percentage will be what 56.4 percentage so you will take out simplest ratio you will take atomic ratio simplest ratio and and you will take the whole number ratio once you do the empirical formula the whole number ratio will be 2 and here it will be 5 when you will see this 2 and 5 and when you put into the empirical formula it will be p2o5 therefore phosphorus pentoxide that is nothing but your option a will be your correct answer for this coming back to the next question oh so guys i am going to introduce you another laksh kct crash course which is completely offline and if you want to get register yourself the link is given below in the description box just email us it's again i repeat it's completely offline offline and it is you can crack this kcet 2024 in just 28 days it will just start after your board examination okay guys it's completely as day scholar and a residential program question number 2 says that which of the following orbital designation is not correct correct corresponding to the quantum number now let's get started n is equals to 5 l2 5d this is correct n is equals to 2 l0 2s very good n is equals to pdf correct this n is equals to 4 and l is equals to 3 and 4f n is equals to 7 l is equals to 2 then it is showing it as 4p it is 7 l is equals to 2 and 4p it 7p and this is wrong we know that n is equals to 7 L is equals to two, then it will be a seven D. Therefore, option D is not correct corresponding quantum number. Therefore, for this answer, option D will be your correct answer. Now, coming back to question number three, which of the following formally families have largest negative electron gain enthalpy values? Among this, now we have seen alkali metals do have the largest electron gain enthalpy? No. Noble gas, no. Alkali earth metals, no. Only the group seventeen halogens has the electron largest negative electron gain enthalpy values. Therefore, it is a group seventeen also. Okay, very simple. It is a conceptual direct question they have asked. Now coming back to question. Now coming back to question number four. The molecule or the ion having pyramidal in shape. Now this is your sp three hybridized. sp2 hybridized sp2 hybridized sp3 hybridized ammonium ion carbonate ion sulfur trioxide phosphorus trichloride this is your tetrahedral shape tetrahedral this is trigonal pyramidal trigonal planar sorry trigonal planar same this is also trigonal planar trigonal planar therefore sp3 is nothing but your pyramidal in shape it is it pyramidal in shape therefore phosphorus trichloride is your correct answer this is your chemical bonding chapter question so keep in your mind they do ask question from the chemical bonding also identify a molecule which does not exist because which is having a very high ionization energy will not exist that is nothing but your helium so correct option will be helium ion this is never existed Density of three molar solution of NaCl is one point two five gram per ml. The mass of the solvent of the solution is. Now we have to find out the mass of the solution. 
then we'll find out the mass of the solvent. Now, we know that 1000 ml, everyone look at this, 1000 ml of solution has 3 moles of NaCl. NaCl. What is the molecular mass of NaCl? Molecular mass of NaCl is 58.5. Now, now mass of NaCl, that is 3 mass of, mass of NaCl in the solution is 3 into 58.5. Now, what will be the mass? That is nothing but your 175 point, so 175.5 grams. Next will be mass of solution. Mass of solution is nothing but your uh, volume into density. Volume is 1000 into density is 1.25 gram. So, when you, when they do this multiply, we get 1250 gram. This is your mass of the solution. Now, we want to find out the mass of the solvent. Therefore, mass of solvent is equals to what? Mass of solvent is equals to mass of solution. Mass of solution minus molecular mass. Sorry, mass of NaCl. Mass of NaCl. 1250 gram minus 175.5 gram. Your correct answer will be option D, that is 1074.5 grams will be your correct answer. Therefore, option D will be your correct answer. A certain reaction eta is at equilibrium at 355 Kelvin and the enthalpy change for the reaction is 213 kilojoules. The value of spontaneity for the reaction is, now we have to find out the delta S. Yes. Now, for spontaneous process, we know Delta T, delta G is equals to delta H minus T delta S. Now, for equilibrium, it, delta G will be 0. Therefore, delta H is equals to T delta S. So, delta S is equals to delta H divided by T. So, change in enthalpy. So, what is the change in enthalpy? You can see 21.3 kilo joules. It is there. So, joules into 1000 divided by 355. Kelvin. So, when, when you do this, you will get your correct answer is 60 kilojoules per mole. Okay. So, therefore, delta S will be option B will be your correct answer. Now, question number 8, H2 plus I2 gives rise to 2HI. Keep in your mind. That is delta H for the change in enthalpy was kilocal. According to the reaction, how much is the rear? 2 into HI. So, simple I will tell you. See, 2 HI here, it is 12.40 kilocal they are telling. For 1 HI, what will be the amount? So, it is 1 into 2.40 kilocal divided by 2. When you do this half, what you will get? 6.20 kilocal. Therefore, option D will be your correct answer. Like this also you can do or else we know that half H2 plus half I2 gives rise to HI. Now, this is half. So, we can tell it as half into what is HI? That is nothing but your 12.40. When you do this also, you will get it as 6.2 kilocals. Any of the method you can use. Therefore, option D will be your correct answer. Now, the ratio of Kp divided by Kc for the reaction carbon monoxide plus half oxygen gives such to carbon dioxide is dash they are asking. Very simple, okay. So, Kp is equals to Kc into Rt to the change in number. Now, listen here. Kp and Kc are the relative any equilibrium constant at pre at concentration at pressure okay now we know that we know that when i take as delta n here outside if i take delta n outside and seeing this equilibrium seeing this stoichiometric coefficient 1 minus 1 by half therefore it will be minus half 
therefore, therefore delta n will be minus half means therefore kp divided by kc is equal to rt to the power of minus 1 by 2 therefore option d will be your correct answer for option d will be your correct answer clear guys so option d will be your correct answer now coming back to question number 10 that is which of the following are Lewis acids so what are Lewis acids the compounds which is are electron deficient compounds that is electron deficient compounds are known as or termed to be as Lewis acid among this option D will be your correct answer that is boron trichloride and aluminum chloride are electron deficient species therefore they are they are Lewis acids in ionic equation of this that is iodate 6 iod press this here O3 IO3 minus plus 6 hydrogen plus dash electrons gives rise to I minus plus 3H2O 3HHN here all it is balanced but how many electrons it has gained it should be 6 electrons when you balance you get 6 electrons therefore option C will be your correct answer which of the following will give white precipitate on heating with silver nitrate so coming back to methyl trichloride carbon tetrachloride and benzyl chloride these are all or covalent compounds these are all or covalent compound only NaCl is ionic compound and we know that we know that only the precipitate will be given by the silver nitrate by the ionic compound therefore option D will be your correct answer when NaCl is added with AgNO3 it form AgCl which has been precipitated plus sodium nitrate is is a byproduct clear now the correct nomenclature for the IUPAC for the following alcohol is now if I take the correct nomenclature correct nomenclature let me just take this color see it I'll just write down 1 2 3 4 and 5 now you can give me the correct answer that is 3 methyl a third position there is a methyl group 3 methyl pentan that is 1 2 3 4 5 so pentan all are single bonds so and at the third position there is an all therefore pentan 3 all therefore option b will be your correct answer option b will be your correct answer clear next in terms of relative stability in terms of relative stability which of the generally is following wrong when you study this tertiary free radicals are more stable than secondary true secondary free radicals are more stable than primary true tertiary carbocation is less stable than secondary this is little bit i feel wrong and secondary carbocation is less stable than primary therefore i see that is option c is only wrong because tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary therefore the wrong statement is option c for this question the correct answer will be option c will be your correct answer ethylene reacts with alkaline kmno4 that is ch2 double bond ch2 when it reacts with alkaline kmno4 what does it forms we know that it forms glycol that is ch2 single bond ch2 here oh and here oh therefore ethylene glycol that is option b will be your correct answer option b will be your correct answer next is very simple according to the huckel rate the aromatic compound must have delocalized pi electrons which are equal to 4n plus 2 pi electrons we read therefore option b will be your correct answer direct question it is or there is 4n plus 2 pi electrons ozonolysis of organic compound a produces here ozonolysis of organic compound a produces acetone now what does it forms acetone that is ch3 c double bond o ch3 so it formed acetone press it forms propanaldehyde 
So this is your propanaldehyde. So it is forming propanaldehyde equal molar mixture that is equal. Then the formation of A. So what the A compound will be? 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. 6 compound, 6 carbon compound should be there. 6 carbon compound with one of the methyl group will be substituted in the place of C double bond O. Then when we do this, what does it form? CH3, C, CH3, double bond, double bond, CH, CH2, CH3. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, 2 methyl Pent to E. Therefore, option C will be your correct answer. Option C will be your correct answer. Clear? Now, question number 19. The complex AGNH3 twice, ARCN twice will be very simple. Diamine silver 1 and dicyano, dicyano arginate 1. So, anywhere it is there. Diamine silver and silver. No. This is. Diamine, silver 1, dicyano, arginate 1. Okay, option B will be your correct answer. Option B will be your correct answer. The half-life period of the first order reaction is 60 minutes. What will be the percentage left over for the 240 minutes? So, N is equals to total time divided by T half. So, total time was 240 divided by 60. So, 6 1s are 6 4s are n is equals to 4. Once we got n is equals to 4, then amount of substance left here, amount of substance left is equals to 1 by 2 to the power of n, 1 by 2 to the power of n into initial amount. One by two to the power of n, n is equals to four into hundred. That is nothing but your one by two to the power of four into hundred. One by sixteen into hundred. That is equals to that is equals to six point two five percent will be your correct answer. Therefore, option B will be your correct answer. Option B will be your correct answer. Next question: Eighteen grams of glucose. That is. C6H12O6 is added to 178.2 gram of water. Then the vapor pressure of the water for the aqueous solution at 100 degrees Celsius will be dash. Therefore, we know that relative vapor, relative lowering vapor pressure is nothing but your chi B. Chi B is nothing but your W2 divided by, sorry, NB divided by NA. So, NB is equals to what? NB so, here he is equals to, here it is P naught minus PS divided by PS, W2 divided by M1 divided by W1 divided by, sorry, M2, here W1 divided by M1. When it is cross multiply, P naught minus PS divided by PS is equals to W2 divided by M2 into W, oh, sorry, M1 into W1. Okay, clear? Now, we will substitute. We will substitute. That is 760 minus PS divided by PS is equals to W2. What is W2? 80 divided by 180 into W1. So, W1 will be your 18 divided by 178.2. When you just cross multiply, you will find out the PS that is nothing but vapor pressure of the water of the aqueous solution. That will be your, that will be your 752, that is 752.40 tor will be there. Therefore, the, your correct answer will be, option B will be your correct answer. Next, the ratio of value of any colligative property of calcium chloride of solution of the sugar solution is under equal. Therefore, we will start, that is Vant of factor I for Calcium chloride is 3 and Vant of factor I for sugar, for sugar it is 1, then the ratio will be 3 is to 1, 3, 3 divided by 1, therefore it will be 3, 3.0, 3 
therefore correct option will be option c will be your correct answer the freezing point of the solution containing 36 gram that is w2 of compound having empirical formula of this in w1 of a water and found to be this is your temperature that is f freezing point molecular formula of the compound we have to find out where kf is also given now before going that we will find out what is delta tf delta tf is 0 minus of minus 0 0.93 degrees that is nothing but a 0 0.93 degree that is delta tf we have got now substituting in the depression in the depression in the freezing point formula we have to find out the molecular mass of the formula therefore we will take it out what we will take it out that is nothing but your m2 we will do it so m2 that is nothing but your molecular mass that is mb is equals to is equals to kf into 1000 into w2 divided by w1 into t delta tf clear now now substitute what is kf that is 1.86 into 1000 into w2 is 36 divided by w1 is 1200 and next is delta t is 0.93 once you do this your mb that is molecular formula mass mass, mass of the for, mass of the substance is found to be what will be the mass of the substance will be found the mass of the substance will be found as 60 now empirical formula mass now empirical formula mass will be what 12 plus 2 plus 16 is equals to what is equals to 30 now molecular formula that is n is equals to molecular formula mass divided by empirical formula mass that is nothing but a 60 divided by 30 is equals to 2 therefore n is equals to 2 therefore molecular formula is equals to molecular formula is equals to empirical formula into n therefore empirical formula is th2o into 2 that is nothing but c2h4o2 therefore option b will be your correct answer option b will be your correct answer question number 23 for all form of ideal solution except this all form ideal solution except this is a conceptual that is ethyl iodine and ethanol will not form a ideal solution it will form non ideal solution it's a conceptual form the electrode potential of a silver electrode is dipped in 0 0.01 molar solution of a silver nitrate at 25 degrees celsius now we have to find out the electrode potential e of ag plus of ag gives rise to e naught of ag plus of ag into into 0 point that is nothing but your plus 0 0.059 divided by divided by n into log of concentration of m plus okay now what is this they have given 0 0.80 volt plus 0 0.059 and how many electrons are given that is only one electron is given and log to the 10 to the power of minus 1 when you solve this when you solve this what do you get that is nothing but your 0 0.741 volts you will get that is e of ag into ag is 0 0.714 741 that is nothing but your option c will be your correct answer question number 25 in h2o2 fuel cell the reaction occurring at cathode occur cathode what reduction happens among this the reduction is nothing but your addition of electrons therefore option c will be your correct answer direct answer for this molar conductivity of nh4 is so and so its degree of dissociation would be dash and they have given this now we have to find out the degree of dissociation now limiting molar conductivity of nh4 oh is equals to infinity nh4 plus and infinity of that is oh minus okay now look at this 73.4 plus 197.6 what will be the answer infinity that is nh4 oh will be what nh4 oh will be 271 
per ohm centimeter square per mole will be your correct answer now we know that that is degree of dissociation is limiting molar conductivity of a molar conductivity of a weak electrolyte in the presence of concentration divided by in the presence of weak electron in the presence of the concentration equal to zero the concentration equal to zero therefore in the presence of concentration it is 11.5 and divided by 271 therefore degree of dissociation will be 0 0.0424 therefore option b will be your correct answer option b will be your correct answer how many hours does it take to reduce one mole of fe 3 plus plus one electron gives rise to fe 2 plus with two ampere current for one mole how many current we use for how many current 96500 coulomb of current we use therefore therefore charge is equals to charge is equals to time into current they are asking 2 amperes charge is 96500 we don't know the time so the current is nothing but your 2 ampere so 96500 divided by 2 is equals to time so the time will be your 48 that is nothing but your 48 250 48 250 into 60 into 60 that is 1 hour 60 60 minutes into 60 seconds that is nothing but your 13.4 hours will be there therefore option d will be your correct answer option d will be your correct answer so how many hours 13.4 hours it takes for a reaction of chlorate into chlorate chlorate ion and chlorine ion various steps so these are the steps that are order of the reaction we know that the rate determining step will be always the slowest step there's the slowest step it is rate is equal to concentration of clo2 minus 2 plus cl it is there therefore rate of the order of the reaction will be direct it will be 2 therefore second order reaction it is question number 29 in half life period of a reaction a is 100 minutes how long it will take a to reach 25 percent how long it takes to a to reach 25 percentage of initial concentration so see here here it will be 100 therefore here it was 100 100 to 50 it is t half 50 to 25 it is again how many 2 t half right clear it has to go therefore t 75 percent to complete complete is 2 times of t half 2 into t half is 100 therefore it is 200 minutes direct and simple question option c will be your correct answer last question for this video there's a reaction having equal energies of activation for forward and reverse reaction that is activation energy for the forward and the for backward reaction that is delta h is equal to e forward minus e backward if they have equal that is 0 minus 0 it is nothing but your 0 then the delta g will be 0 therefore that is nothing but your free energy will be 0 that is option a will be a 0 okay guys so now before ending the class i want to tell you that please like share and subscribe the diksha karnataka youtube channel and please do you well in your board exam as well as kcet we want all the toppers from the karnataka to get help from this kcet crash course as well okay guys so have a great day today your nirmal sir signs of mansinano nirmal matinalo nirmal bye guys have a great day